All right, guys, as many of you know, February is Black History Month. For the next two weeks, we are going to be looking at two different prominent black artists that have shaped art history. The first week, we're going to be looking at the work of Elizabeth Catlett and her amazing portraiture and figurative work. Catlett emphasizes the use of value and dark and light as she portrays expressions of equality, of freedom, and of purpose. Take a look at some of Catlett's most popular work and be thinking about ways that you could create in the style and manner of Elizabeth Catlett. So guys, here are a few more images of Catlett's artwork. And you can see clearly how much she uses the element of value, creating such strong contrast and high contrast between areas of light and areas of dark using different techniques of hatching and blending and shading. And this is her most famous work, which is called the Sharecropper. And you can clearly see strong use of value and strong use of contrast as well. All right, so the next thing I want you guys to do is open up your sketchbook to your next clean page. And this page is gonna be all about Elizabeth Catlett. So at the top of the page, go ahead and title it Elizabeth Catlett, like so. You're gonna divide the page into different sections. Uh, pretty much just like this. Two smaller rectangles towards the top and then two larger rectangles towards the bottom. This topmost left section is going to be some information about Elizabeth Catlett. I want you to include um, the years that she lived, which was 1915 to 2012. And I also want you to research an interesting fact uh, or something that you find out about Elizabeth Catlett. In this next small section, the top right section, I want you to include this quote by Elizabeth Catlett, okay? Elizabeth Catlett's work was very powerful as well as her vision of what her art could do for her people. The middle section, you're gonna create a sketch of Catlett's most famous work, which is the sharecropper. This image right here shows you a simplified version of the lines and shapes, which will help you get it set up. But then I want you to develop it with value and high contrast, whether shading, hatching, or cross hatching. The last section at the bottom is your choice of Catlett's work. I want you to research on your iPad or your home computer uh, images that you find striking and compelling. Remember, Catlett's work is very powerful, and so look for an image that speaks to you and catches your eye. Maybe it's the contrast or the composition, but you're going to sketch it out and develop with value as well.